What's going on, everybody? It is your boy Joey from the So Wizard Podcast coming back at you again, finally, with some more comic book reviews. Before we get started, as always, make sure you're hitting the like, the bell, the subscribe down below so you're getting notifications when all the So Wizard Podcast content is coming across your YouTube channel. Tons of interviews, unboxings, more comic reviews, shorts movie reviews tons of stuff on here for you so hit the bell hit the like hit the subscribe we greatly appreciate it and then you'll know when our content's coming right up for you our favorite people the viewers and the listeners so of course please do so now where have we been it's been it's been almost a month since we've done any comic book reviews like this on the channel i have done a couple shorts here and there but for the most part we have not done a comic review video where have we been well, I'll be honest and upfront with you, and we always will be on the So Wizard podcast. I just haven't been able to afford to buy the comics. Um, I'm a lapsed comic fan. That's the big thrust. That's the idea behind these videos. I'm a lapsed fan. I'm buying these books out of pocket, and we're going to review them based on the content, and we're going to review them based on the value for your dollar. So when you can't afford them out of pocket, and it kind of puts a kibosh on the videos, I uh, Mostly, you know, inflation's been through the roof. We all know that. I don't have to tell you that. This isn't a political channel by any stretch of the imagination. It doesn't matter whose fault it is or who you support or what side you're on. Gas is expensive. Food is expensive. It's all coming out of your wallet at the end of the day. It doesn't matter really who you support. You're going to the gas station <laughs> and the money's coming out either way. So, it's just been really expensive and it's been tough. My uh, second job, which is how I afford all of this nonsense, whether it's comics or Blu-rays, action figures, going to movies, going to comic cons, all that stuff comes out of my second job fund, uh, not the household fund where we actually afford to live and, and eat. Um, they cut hours pretty bad. I went from about 12 to 16 hours a week down to three. So all of a sudden my funds were severely diminished and not really able to be just dropping stuff on comics and nonsense i mean it is nonsense it's fun stuff but it is nonsense it's not essential stuff and i just wouldn't be able to afford it for a while so hopefully we're back uh, a little over the hump in terms of uh, funds and i don't want to do books that we get comped or books that our friends give us because that kind of defeats the purpose of this i'm not trying to come at it from any other angle other than what we paid out of pocket what the content is and how that makes us feel reading the book that's where I want to be with these videos. So uh, as much as I love and appreciate people that give us uh, press copies or, you know, send us comped copies of the books, uh, we're going to keep that stuff off these videos. This is strictly just stuff that we paid out of pocket for. And unfortunately, there was a few weeks there where we couldn't afford it. But we are back. Enough nonsense. Who cares about the real world? Let us talk about comics. So we got a couple books today. Uh, the first one that we got, She-Hulk. Uh, what volume is this? Who knows? But it is She-Hulk number four from Marvel Comics. Uh, pretty cool cover. This is the variant cover that I grabbed here. So it's got like all her different costumes on there. Uh, Fantastic Four. Oh, there it is. Fantastic Four one. That's kind of my time. Uh, plus the cool uh, Avengers one there in the middle when she was always in the Avengers. I'm a big She-Hulk fan, man. I like the character quite a bit. Uh, like I said, I've loved her in Avengers in the 80s. She was great in Fantastic Four. The John Byrne run where she was uh, breaking the fourth wall and dealing with all sorts of nonsense characters like from US one and, and the, the mole people or the toad people, whoever those were uh, on the second issue. It was great, man. It was great. That was a great book. And, you know, it, she's been a cool character. It's, it's weird because it's, it's one of those characters that's pretty much created to be uh, a way to keep the copyright. So another company couldn't make a she Hulk book. Uh, while well, they made a Hulk book and it spun off into a pretty popular and long lasting character. So she Hulk, that that's what we're looking at here. And this is written by rainbow Rowell or Rowell. I apologize if I got that wrong. I don't, I just don't know how to pronounce it and art by Luca Maresca, Luca Maresca. And here we are. She Hulk um, for the most part, uh, this is not good. <laughs> with kind of a temper we have to temper that a little bit so it's 399 uh 
you know, it's Marvel, but for, for some reason, the, the cover's not bad and the paper quality isn't bad. So we've seen that on some of their books that were reviewed in the past where it was like tissue paper and it was garbage. Uh, this does not have that. So good job on that. Um, like I said, written by Rainbow Rowell and art by Luca Mar Maresca. Apologize for uh, mispronouncing these names. And, and for the most part, we're looking at She-Hulk. She is back to being a lawyer again. So good. They got rid of that nonsense where she was like ro roided up. Uh, I don't know what that was. And, ooh, you know, that, that was definitely not good. You want to talk about not good. Yikes. Um, and for the most part, you know, it's, it's just her living her life. She's got uh, a fight club she does with Titania. And there's a uh, Volcana shows up, which was a cool little Secret Wars flashback there. And that part's pretty enjoyable and fun. For the most part, the writing and the banter is good. They, like when the characters are talking, it's not uninteresting at all. So we saw like some like Silk that we reviewed a few months ago that where there was a lot of people talking. But the conversations made you feel like you wanted to die. Uh, this doesn't feel like that. Uh, the, it's well written. It all flows and the characters have their own voices. It doesn't sound like the author is just writing what they want to write and it, they're just plugging into the characters like she hulk sounds like she hulk Titania sounds like she would sound Volcana sounds like she would sound the thing is is in here he sounds like he would sound so the writing is actually really good for what it is uh the art really good for just for art like not even just trying to qualify the art is really good i i did like the art quite a bit the problem comes in is that the most of the book is just talking and and it, it's about her working as a lawyer. Um, you know, there's some some decent funny jokes in here. Uh, Jack of Hearts, uh, a, a, one of my favorite Z characters from the uh, the Marvel days, but in the 70s, 80s, Jack of Hearts. He had a run in Avengers in the 90s, but for the most part, uh, Jack of Hearts is kind of a you know, those little under the radar characters. I always liked him, though. I, I thought he had a cool costume. And him and uh, She-Hulk are hanging out. And this is honestly the majority of the book. Like, this is the majority of the book. This is them on a bench talking. It's not bad. So please don't think I'm saying, like, this is, like, NFL super pro. Like, this is shit. Like, oh, it's terrible. It's just not the type of book for me. It's not for me. I don't want to read this. It's, it's just not what I'm interested in. Um, but it's well written. So that's, that's the frustrating part about it is I think that, if this is something you're into, you're going to love it. Like you're, if you're like, man, I really want a She-Hulk book that's mostly like about her life and romance and, and lighter on superhero stuff, but more about that kind of day to day, day in the life type of thing. This is going to knock it out of the park for you. This is a five out of five for you. If that's what you're looking for. For me, I, I wanted a little more balance uh, between talking and this is my life. And I'm hanging out on the bench with uh, Jack of hearts and we're talking some more and we're talking and it just it just keeps going on and on they're just talking 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 and finally and i guess this is a spoiler but finally this happens on the last page not, <laughs> not the advertisement on the very last page somebody comes out and it's like i found you and she transforms and action is going to ensue um but it took us almost the entire issue to get there outside of a little fight at the beginning which was fun and enjoyable um there there's just not there's nothing here there's no action here there's, it's it's just not the kind of book i like uh, so this is a tough another tough one to review because the art's good the writing is good and if this is the book you're looking for it's probably outstanding but it's just not for me it's just not for me uh you know i i'm at a two out of five on this um 3.99 for mostly people hanging out on a bench talking it's just it's just not for me man but again it's not bad so it's a weird way to kind of review it and come at it i think if this is the kind of book you're looking for you'll love this but for me it's just not going to work i honestly would love to see more from this artist and more from this writer because i like i said before the conversations and the dialogue is well done it's just not interesting to me at all. So um, I'd love to see them uh, maybe jump out of their uh, shell a little bit and maybe do something big. Do Throw this, throw Rainbow Rowell on a big picture book. I'd love to see them on Avengers or something with high action, but they also can come back in and use that conversational piece where everybody seems to have their own voice because it's really well-written. It's really well done. It's just not my type of book. It's unfortunate. 
So two out of five for me, but your mileage may vary. On to our next one. What do we get next? We get two books this week. Iron Cat. Iron Cat. <laughs> what? Cat. Cats. Iron Cat. This is uh, written by Jed McKay with art by Perry Perez. And I don't know the history of this. So it's about the black cat and Iron Man, obviously. Uh, Iron Cat. Um, then there's this Iron Cat suit, which I guess comes out of a storyline in a previous Black Cat book, um, which is then stolen by somebody who, hijinks and Sue, uh, uses it to attack Black Cat and just kind of what kind of spins out of that. So obviously I didn't read the storylines building off of in black cat um is that even a book anymore I, I may have been canceled and this is just kind of a way for them to continue the storyline i'm not really sure um i know this is just a limited series but basically that i mean that's pretty much the the gist of the storyline without spoiling it too much i know i just literally spoiled the entire she hulk book but <laughs> without spoiling it too much um black cat is going to steal something uh it turns out that this iron cat armor was stolen from iron man and the person wearing it uses it to attack her and it kind of fills in the blanks of what that character is and who they are before they're revealed under the armor at the end of the book um dude this book is good like i'm i was legitimately shocked reading this book legitimately shocked because when you look at the cover, you're like, what is this? Like, why am I getting this? And sometimes I'm going to err on the side of buying a number one instead of, you know, a middle of a, a run or a middle of an arc. Because if I grab a random issue of, I don't know, whatever, uh, you know, Batman in the middle of a 10 part storyline, it's probably not going to work no matter how much I paid for the book and no matter how much I like the art and the writing, I, it's going to be hard to follow. So sometimes I'm going to err on the side of grabbing a number one, but this was good, man. This was really good. Um, they, they take the time. Like, I, you know, this isn't really a spoiler, but the beginning um, she's doing a heist. And for the most part, they're using the captions and her own internal dialogue to set up everything you missed. Uh, they go back and have some flashbacks that kind of explain uh, some of the stuff that you may have missed or that is important to the storyline. And then that all kind of comes together at the end. The art is fantastic. The art is great. Uh, good high action art. Uh, really interesting story. For the most part, it's mostly about Black Cat. Uh, keeps kind of Iron Man at arm's length for the most part. But I mean, he's in here and well-written. All the characters are well-written. The art is fantastic, man. The art is good. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know, it's hard to see, but like even the art and the flashbacks look good. And then there's big, uh, big um, widescreen action stuff going on with her fighting Iron Cat. Um, if I honestly had any thing to say bad about it, I think the Iron Cat armor is ridiculous. <laughs> it just looks like an Iron Man armor, but then they have cat ears at the top. <laughs> so it's kind of funny, but it, it's pretty silly looking. Um, you know, I was not expecting to like this at all. I thought this was going to be a fun one to tear apart. Like, this is going to be stupid. Look at this dumb character. Um, it, it harkens back a little bit to those 90s days where we had Thor and then Thunderstrike and Captain America and US Agent. And you're just like, oh, why do we have these? And a lot of those second tier books, as much as I love them, because I love those B characters, were not well written or drawn. So I was kind of looking for something like that. And this actually turns out to be a great book. So honestly, this is a five out of five for me. And that's that's shocking. This is a five out of five for Iron Cat of all things, Iron Cat. Great art, great story that sucked me right in, explained me everything I needed to know right in the book. This is good, man. I'm I'm in for the rest of this miniseries at the very least. $4.99, which is, uh, you know, it's a big ask. It's a gallon of gas these days. But for the most part, uh, I was all in. Uh, cover, not the terrible thinness, and looks like the page quality good, too. So, hey, Iron Cat, five out of five, man. Great art, great story. Get on this. Buy this. Who knows? Maybe we'll get an Iron Cat ongoing series out of it. But that's it. Those are our two books. She-Hulk, a two out of five, but your mileage may vary. Iron Cat, shockingly, a five out of five. A really good book. So that's what we picked up this week. Hopefully, 
and it helps you find some books as always like we said before don't forget to hit the like the subscribe and the bell down below so that you know uh when you get more so is your podcast content for your feed and you know any suggestions of books i should read or or you know any other feedback put it in the comments below or send us a uh, a note on social media we'll be glad to hear you and we'll hopefully be back next week with some more books check us out thank you so much and good journey <laughs>